CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 10 Practical Geometry Page 199 Exercise 10.2 1. Construct triangle XYZ in which XY is equal to 4.5 cm, YZ is equal to 5 cm, and ZX is equal to 6 cm. 2. Construct an equilateral triangle of side 5.5 cm. 3. Draw triangle PQR with PQ is equal to 4 cm, QR is equal to 3.5 cm, and PR is equal to 4 cm. What type of triangle is this? 4. Construct triangle ABC such that AB is equal to 2.5 cm, BC is equal to 6 cm, and AC is equal to 6.5 cm. Measure angle B. 10.5. Constructing a triangle when the lengths of two sides and the measure of the angle between them are known. SAS criterion. Here we have two sides given and the one angle between them. We first draw a sketch and then draw one of the given line segments. The other steps follow. See example 2. Example 2. Construct a triangle PQR given that PQ is equal to 3 cm, QR is equal to 5.5 cm and angle PQR is equal to 60 degrees. Solution Step 1 First, we draw a rough sketch with given measures. This helps us to determine the procedure in construction. Figure 10.51 Step 2 Draw a line segment QR of length 5.5 cm. Figure 10.52 Step 3 at Q, draw QX, making 60 degrees with QR. The point P must be somewhere on this ray of the angle. Figure 10.53 Step 4 To fix P, the distance QP has been given. With Q as center, draw an arc of radius 3 cm. It cuts QX at the point P. Figure 10.54 Page 200 Step 5 Join PR Triangle PQR is now obtained Figure 10.55 Do this Let us now construct another triangle ABC such that AB is equal to 3 cm BC is equal to 5.5 cm and M angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees. Take a cutout of triangle ABC and place it on triangle PQR. What do we observe? We observe that triangle ABC exactly coincides with triangle PQR. Thus, if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides, and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. This is SAS congruency rule, which we have learnt in our earlier chapter. Note that the triangles have been constructed when their two sides and the angle included between these two sides are given. Think, discuss and write. In the above construction, Lengths of two sides and measure of one angle were given. Now study the following problems. In triangle ABC, if AB is equal to 3 cm, AC is equal to 5 cm, and M angle C is equal to 30 degrees, can we draw this triangle? We may draw AC is equal to 5 cm and draw angle C of measure 30 degrees. CA is one arm of angle C. Point B should be lying on the other arm of angle C. But observe that point B cannot be located uniquely. 
Therefore, the given data is not sufficient for construction of triangle ABC. Now, try to construct triangle ABC if AB is equal to 3 cm, AC is equal to 5 cm, and M angle B is equal to 30 degrees. What do we observe? Again, triangle ABC cannot be constructed uniquely. Thus, we can conclude that a unique triangle can be constructed only if the lengths of its two sides and the measure of the included angle between them is given. Exercise 10.3 1. Construct triangle DEF such that DE is equal to 5 cm, DF is equal to 3 cm and M angle EDF is equal to 90 degrees. 2. Construct an isosceles triangle in which the lengths of each of its equal sides is 6.5 cm and the angle between them is 110 degrees. 3. Construct triangle ABC with BC is equal to 7.5 cm, AC is equal to 5 cm and M angle C is equal to 60 degrees. Page 201 10.6. Constructing a triangle when the measures of two of its angles and the length of the side included between them is given. ASA criterion. As before, draw a rough sketch. Now, draw the given line segment. Make angles on the two ends. See the example 3. Example 3. Construct triangle XYZ if it is given that XY is equal to 6 cm, M angle ZXY is equal to 30 degrees and M angle XYZ is equal to 100 degrees. Solution Step 1 Before actual construction, we draw a rough sketch with measures marked on it. This is just to get an idea as how to proceed. Figure 10.61 Step 2. Draw XY of length 6 cm. Step 3. At X, draw a ray XP, making an angle of 30 degrees with XY. By the given condition, Z must be somewhere on the XP. Step 4. At Y, draw a ray YQ, making an angle of 100 degrees with YX. By the given condition, Z must be on the ray YQ also. Step 5. Z has to lie on both the rays XP and YQ. So the point of intersection of the two rays is Z. Triangle XYZ is now completed. Page 202. Do this. Now, draw another triangle LMN where M angle NLM is equal to 30 degrees, LM is equal to 6 centimeters, and M angle NML is equal to 100 degrees. Take a cutout of triangle LMN and place it on the triangle XYZ. We observe that triangle LMN exactly coincides with triangle XYZ. Thus, if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. This is ASA congruency rule, which you have learnt in the earlier chapter. Note that the triangles have been constructed when two angles and the included side between these angles are given. Think discuss and write. In the above example, length of a side and measures of two angles were given. Now study the following problem. In triangle ABC, if AC is equal to 7 cm, M angle A is equal to 60 degrees and M angle B is equal to 50 degrees, can you draw the triangle? Angle some property of a triangle may help you. Exercise 10.4 1. Construct triangle ABC given M angle A is equal to 60 degrees, 
M angle B is equal to 30 degrees and AB is equal to 5.8 centimeters. 2. Construct triangle PQR if PQ is equal to 5 centimeters, M angle PQR is equal to 105 degrees and M angle QRP is equal to 40 degrees. Hint. Recall angle sum property of a triangle. 3. Examine whether you can construct triangle DEF such that EF is equal to 7.2 cm, M angle E is equal to 110 degrees and M angle F is equal to 80 degrees. Justify your answer. 10.7 Constructing a right-angled triangle when the length of one leg and its hypotenuse are given. RHS criterion. Here it is easy to make the rough sketch. Now draw a line as per the given side. Make a right angle on one of its points. Use compasses to mark length of side and hypotenuse of the triangle. Complete the triangle. Consider the following. Example 4. Construct triangle LMN right angled at M, given that LN is equal to 5 cm and MN is equal to 3 cm. Solution Step 1. Draw a rough sketch and mark the measures. Remember to mark the right angle. Figure 10.71. Step 2. Draw MN of length 3 cm. Figure 10.72. Page 203. Step 3. At M, draw MX perpendicular to MN. L should be somewhere on this perpendicular. Figure 10.73. Step 4. With N as center, draw an arc of radius 5 cm. L must be on this arc, since it is at a distance of 5 cm from N. Figure 10.74 Step 5 L has to be on the perpendicular line MX as well as on the arc drawn with center N. Therefore, L is the meeting point of these two. Triangle LMN is now obtained. Figure 10.75 Exercise 10.5 1. Construct the right-angled triangle PQR where M angle Q is equal to 90 degrees, QR is equal to 8 cm and PR is equal to 10 cm. 2. Construct a right-angled triangle whose hypotenuse is 6 cm long and one of the legs is 4 cm long. 3. Construct an isosceles right-angled triangle ABC where M angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees and AC is equal to 6 centimeters. Page 204 Miscellaneous Questions Below are given the measures of certain sides and angles of triangles. Identify those which cannot be constructed and say why you cannot construct them. Construct rest of the triangles. Triangle Given Measurements 1. Triangle ABC M angle A is equal to 85 degrees M angle B is equal to 115 degrees AB is equal to 5 centimeters 2. Triangle PQR M angle Q is equal to 30 degrees M angle R is equal to 60 degrees QR is equal to 4.7 cm. 3. Triangle ABC. M angle A is equal to 70 degrees. M angle B is equal to 50 degrees. AC is equal to 3 cm. 4. Triangle LMN. M angle L is equal to 60 degrees. M angle N is equal to 120 degrees. LM is equal to 5 cm. 5. Triangle ABC. BC is equal to 2 cm. AB is equal to 4 cm. AC is equal to 2 cm. 
6. Triangle PQR. PQ is equal to 3.5 cm. QR is equal to 4 cm. PR is equal to 3.5 cm. 7. Triangle XYZ. XY is equal to 3 cm. YZ is equal to 4 cm. XZ is equal to 5 cm. 8. Triangle DEF. DE is equal to 4.5 cm. EF is equal to 5.5 cm. DF is equal to 4 cm. What have we discussed? In this chapter, we looked into the methods of some ruler and compasses constructions. 1. Given a line L and a point not on it, we used the idea of equal alternate angles in a transversal diagram to draw a line parallel to L. We could also have used the idea of equal corresponding angles to do the construction. 2. We studied the method of drawing a triangle using indirectly the concept of congruence of triangles. The following cases were discussed. 1. SSS, given the three side lengths of a triangle. 2. SAS, given the lengths of any two sides and the measure of the angle between these sides. 3. ASA, given the measures of two angles and the length of side included between them. 4. RHS, given the length of hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle and the length of one of its legs. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator, Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production, Samya Malik. Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.